which is something I'll mention. But they're great games uh, in themselves. Uh, and you see, essentially what I've done is i put one game called the Smiley Face Game on the cover, and I've got all the pieces on here, so I'm just going to be careful. But in, in the base, there's another game uh, right here. Uh, and this will go on top, fit together as a nice package. All the pieces uh, will go inside the uh, cover. Pieces come in this little bag, and I've uh, got a little dice here that also fits inside the cover. Okay, so let's look at the two games, um, uh, the three games, really, because there's two games and one in this one. Let's look at those, and I'll go through it fairly quickly, uh, but uh, the, the rules are posted on, on the website, and it's, they're pretty cool. Uh, this is a game for the, the Smiley Face game, version one. Uh, we'll call it the capture version. It's a game for two to four players. It works great, uh, two, three, or four players. Um, the board here, by the way, is about seven and a half inches uh, square. Um, I'm going to uh, just kind of set it up with two players. You have all these little smiley faces. There's eight regular smiley faces, all a little bit different. And then there's a couple double smileys here, you can see. And then there's a triple smiley, too. And the double smileys count two, and the triple counts three. The triple always goes on the last space, which is 81. It's a, it's a nine by nine grid, there's 81 blocks. The triple smiley goes on the last space, and the others you can scatter as you'd like. We do recommend you put one on each row just to at least one in each row, just to make it uh, a little interesting as you're moving down through the game. But you can put them kind of where you want. And uh, we'll set up and uh, we'll start this game here. All right. So decide who goes first, usually the highest number or something. So let's say uh, the heart's going first, and I'll be the green. So the heart rolls a four, and they would count. Zero plus four is four, or one, two, three, and four. The green would go, and there's a three. Now. If I land on an opponent, and this is true anywhere during the game, let's say I rolled a four also, I don't stay on top of the opponent. I also move backwards to the nearest open spot. Okay, nearest open. There's a, If there's another person there, I'd have to move back. If there's a smiley face there, I'd have to move back. The nearest open spot behind the player that you land on. Right now the game continues and Hart uh, rolls a three, and I roll a five, so three plus five is eight, and oh look, the smiley is on the eight, so three plus five is eight. I land on the smiley, and now I capture it, and that's the object of the game, get as many smiley faces as you can. So I have captured the smiley, and it comes in my little uh, booty pile here. All right, now the game continues as you're going through trying to capture as many smiles as you can, right? But here's the thing, if you should... So let's say all players go past a smiley. Let's say nobody landed on 13 and we're all past it. At that point, this smiley is picked up and placed on the highest available number on the board, which in this case would be uh, number 80. Right, and that's true all the way through the game. Anything that is, any smiles bypassed is, is brought up to the end. It makes the end kind of exciting. <laughs> now, if you. Um, if you do land on a smiley, I, I, I should, uh, you get a free turn, an extra turn. A smiley, land on a smiley, you get the smiley, and you get an extra turn. Land on a double smiley, and you get you know, essentially two smileys, two points, and you get two free turns. So, nice advantage there. The game ends when someone lands on uh, the 81, the triple smiley, and that must be on a perfect count. That is, if you're on 78 here, to go out, you would need a three, one, two, three, to make it to 81. Okay. If you roll a four, you, you just can't move. All right. You could roll a two and pick up that. But uh, the game ends when someone rolls a uh, perfect count to land an 81, and at that point it's, it stops and everybody counts their smiley, and one of the most smiley wins. All right, great fun. We've been gambling over the two, a kind of quarter of a smiley, but never mind that. Now, another version of this, and uh, this game, by the way, the origin of this game, uh, the basis for it, came from Teresa Evans, who's got a wonderful math site called makingmathmorefun.com. Just, it's a printed material, books, and just hundreds and hundreds of really fabulous things, and I recommend you check it out. Um, this version that I just explained is it's kind of my version of this particular game, but she has one that I think is quite interesting, and it's more strategic, and we'll call it a little higher order thinking level. Um, set up the game as you, you know previously with the smiley somewhere. The doubles don't uh, doesn't really matter, I guess. But in this game, you only use one marker. All right, so let's use the one marker, and there's no dice. This is this is a, a logic game where um, two players only. 
uh, someone goes first, um, and you can move one to five spaces every turn. It's up to you. Your goal is to be the one that lands on the smileys as you go through the game, and again, the one, the, the person with the most smiley faces wins. So, uh, you know, I might, uh, if it's my turn, I might move five. Now I can move one to five. Right now, it's your turn. You can move. You must move one. You can't move more than five. All right. So, hmm, I kind of boxed you in here with. You know, think you always think ahead. So if you move one. I'm going to move one, two, three, four, five. I'm going to capture that guy. All right, now it's your now it's your turn again. You move. Always think ahead. To what strategy do I need to capture the next guy or the next series of guy? Okay, this is a thinking game. All right, uh, let's let's uh, put the cover aside and let's look at the next game, which is called uh, Odd Even Tag. All right, just a fun little game, might emphasize odd even qualities for the younger ones, but just kind of fun. Uh, and for this you only need two, uh, two markers, and you can you know, pick any one of the four that it comes with from the other game. So I'm going to pick uh, the zero for odd, just because it's one-sided, and I'll pick the four for even, because it's uh, four-sided and even, so it's easy to remember. That's all you need, and one dice for this game. The goal here is to catch your opponent, either land on top of them or go bypass them, like tag, like the old version of tag, right? Playground tag. So what happens is someone goes first, and it, I don't think it really matters too much, because here's what's going to happen. Whatever the roll is, if it's an odd roll like this, then the odd player moves three. One, two, three. Now the next person rolls, but whatever the roll is, it's a six, now the even player will move six even if the odd player took the roll. So whatever the result of the roll is determines who moves. Uh, you know, you go back and forth and get close. Uh, it's not so easy to catch up, but at some point, some, some one player, just by the odds, at some point uh, one player will eventually get you past the other player, and the person that makes the pass is the winner. Right. Everything will store um, inside the game. As the pieces will come in this little organza bag, but uh, the piece, everything will store inside the game, and even the dice, and when you put the cover on top, you're good to go for another day. So, uh, great fun, uh, all made here in our uh, Hudson, Florida shop, uh, available at creativecrafthouse.com, and thanks to Teresa Evans for uh, allowing me to uh, make these fine, uh, fine games that uh, she's designed. Take care.